And by the way, Daniel will in, never at any point in this game ever apologize for that. Or in fact, we're not even going to bring that moment ever again up. By the way, so ah, it was so, a, so big, so it's a he lifts moment. a whole tree trunk. So it's so it's. And we're not going like, to talk about it again. Nope. So it's just <laughs> so it's just like. Um, hey. So it's just like that bit in um, Avatar The Last Airbender where Katara flat out accuses Sokka of um, not loving their uh, dead mom as much as she you did, but just... um, they never bring okay, that up again. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Which episode? Yeah, he's talking about that one where, um, yeah, he's talking about that episode where um, Katara and um, Katara wants to avenge her mother's death and go with Zuko to, so, oh, to do that. Oh, that bit, that bit. And oh, Sokka's oh, against okay. it, oh, but he said, oh, then you didn't love your, my mother's death. To be fair, doesn't she apologize by the end of that, though? No, she, no, she doesn't. Uh, huh. Actually, she does, Dwibs. Uh, no, no, I, she I, I have seen the episode. I remember it clearly, she did, she? but that's not... Uh, hold on, hold on. What happens in the end is that she acknowledges that... No, she was pretty much wrong on the whole vengeance path here and there, like... And the thing is, the episode does acknowledge that she's not in the right headspace, which is much, much more than what Life is Strange 2 does. So, no, the two are not comparable in that degree, because... See, the difference is that Avatar The Last Airbender acknowledged that she was in the wrong thought pattern, and also that episode was about her getting better, it's... wherein she finally forgave Zuko and all that stuff. Let me put it this way, I mean, that... Sorry. I mean, I like the episode, that just that bit just left a bit of a sound. L L let me put it this way, Dwebs. Yes, uh, yes, even though we never actually see her apologize to Sokka on screen, the g even when she says that to Sokka, yeah, the, game, right. mm, the game... The show portrays that moment portrays her in the negative light when they do it so, so the the show is aware of, of that she's doing something wrong now you can say well yes the show does have her realize that she was wrong in doing all this shit but i still i still need the apology that's fair i personally can reasonably assume that they apo that they make up um but i understand your point go on <laughs> that again the main difference is that here though like, it feels a bit like the game is actually siding with Daniel, since I guess the moment with the tree is supposed to be a, like, fist-bumping, awesome moment for Daniel. At least that's how it's shot. Like, there's nothing to suggest that Daniel is clearly in the wrong. And question, do we ever see him get that powerful again in the uh, game? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, no, this is obviously actually... no smoking. Yeah, this is actually the first scene where we get the first major decisions regarding which shipping path you go into. Because um, later on, we're going to have some, you know, heart-to-heart -heart talk about, you know, crushes and shit. And we get to choose between, uh, what is what are you into, Sean? And you can choose between be more into girls or I'm more into, I'm, or I find, or I'm more into boys and shit like that, so. Hang on, we, we don't get a scene where he trips balls upon smoking the, uh, the... About smoking the weed. You you can smoke that bong over there, but you don't get a scene like that, no. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hope people yeah. something like in GTA we Five. Yeah, that little side. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, try, Michael smokes. Uh, trust me, I would love that too, but uh, no such thing uh, in this game, Dwebs. Sorry. Um, pine cones. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? The game's pretty on sort of line anyway, so why not have a bit where he hallucinates shooting? Um, you know, sh shooting um, everyone that's ever wronged him. Okay. All right, we're actually going to get some backstory for all of the the people in here, but I can easily recap them. So go ahead, Jova. Again, I know I was leaning on it a bit the first time we had a campfire scene between Sean and Daniel back in. I think about that. I think it was chapter two. Episode one. Or maybe it was. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It was still episode one. There just been a time skip. Again, I get what they're trying to do with segments like these, but honestly. All these segments feel like they could have just as easily been cutscenes. They just try to make them gameplay so that people can go, Wow! Interactive storytelling! When in reality, it's just as simple as you, in a lot of cases, waiting. Yeah. yeah sometimes there are bits where you get to choose what to talk about. But again, Ace Attorney, this isn't. They don't even feel like they're variable or whatnot based off of the order you pick. Like, Ace Attorney at least provides variations of that sort of stuff here and there. This, not so. A lot of these feel like they could be cutscenes, and 
Oh, uh, you know, funnily enough, I feel like they would waste my time less if they were cutscenes, because, hey, you know the old saying, don't piss on my leg and call it rain? Yeah, don't give me what's clearly just a cutscene and say it's gameplay. I think I love them. Yeah. Um, so basically, most of the, don't worry about most of the backstories, because most of the backstories, okay, Anna's backstory, to be fair, is fairly sympathetic, uh, basically, um, her, her dog got, um, she lost her dog, and shit like that, and she had to run away from the cops, and that's why she's here, basically, it's something along the lines, uh, along the lines of stuff, uh, Penny here, I don't really care about Penny, to be honest, he's just kind of there for me, um, He's, he's talking about his backstory right now, like, something about, you know, yeah, shit. It, it's it's kind of hard for me to care at this point, if I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. So the boy's name is Penny. Look, okay, look, I get it. Going against social norms and whatnot, I'm just wondering, like, Penny is, I'm pretty sure that is a girl's name. Maybe it's in a, uh, one of those names that works for both. I don't know. I, I mean, there is, uh, if, Jake? Please. Whatever. Um, I've never met a guy called just Penny, but you know, and again. I just looked it up and apparently um, it can be used as a neutral name. Yeah. Well, there you go then. Right, then. Maybe I mean, it's regional because I mean, some of these things are. I mean, there is a male actor called uh, Mandy. Yeah. True. Um, well, yeah, and you know, again. Oh, no, this is actually important. This is, this is actually important. This is actually important. All right. People line up to listen to her. She's. Intense. Boy, what if we ended up going there? Yeah, yeah, as Jova just guessed, that's foreshadowing for episode 4. I guess, to be fair, it's not necessarily obvious foreshadowing, because it's not like we're going to, you know, go to every place from all these backstories. True, but that one actually is. So, I guess Hannah got another dog then? Because she has a dog there. Oh, that, yeah. Uh, no, 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 remember, Joe, but that's um, Cass's dog from episode 2, remember? They had a dog, and even had. I legit forgot that they had Don't a dog. worry, the dog is not important. He's just there. So, don't worry. Well, oh, okay. Wow, they can't even make the dogs memorable in this shit. Shiroi, don't worry. Shiroi, Shiroi, don't worry. Final Fantasy XVI's doggo is the best gaming doggo. I can tell you right now, now that I platinum the game, I can tell you Torgo is best doggo. Hey, Shiroi. Shiroi. It's my cross. Hey, Shiroi. Yeah. Just as memorable as Mushroom, I guess. Your turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, but exactly. The, 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 there you go. See? <laughs> the dog that uh, Daniel had in episode two, Shiroi. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have Before she got shit taken out by a cougar and. No, no, I'm yeah. I was joking. I'm okay. The thing is, I wouldn't blame you if you forgot Mushroom, because yeah. it feels like the plot forgot about Mushroom, too. The plot forgets... Uh, that's the, the, the basic gist... Of, let me put it this way, Joe. Uh, this, the game does the same kind of method as Final Fantasy VIII. When the runners don't care about a specific thing anymore, it just drops from the plot altogether. It, it basically stops existing. Okay, I guess to be fair, that last choice does have Mushroom on the left part, so... Yes. I guess they do remember her. But even still, Mushroom's role in the story is so yeah. minuscule, you'd be forgiven a for random, a random. A for, a for, I don't really count a throwaway line as that. That's just lip service. I'm sorry. <laughs> have easily been added in after they made the chapter and realized, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, Mushroom! Yeah, 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 racist is bad, I know, game, I know. You've told us this before. Uh, basically, Penny was talking about how a racist bastard, uh, you know, basically, Joe, but they're now calling the cop from the beginning of the game racist because of what he did to, Sh to Sean and Daniel's dad. <laughs> also, what was up with that line, damn vigilantes? Like, the guy was racist, but if he's a cop, he's not a vigilante. What do you... I don't understand. Do you not know what you're talking about, game? D D Jova, at this point, I don't think this game even knows words. At this point. I, I mean, you know, Life is Strange is infamous for being, Hello, fellow kids, how do you do? In it, I feel like even that game had better grasp of basic English than this game. Well, uh, you know what? No, forget basic English, just the general concept of what things actually are. Yeah. A vigilante, a cop is not a vigilante, guys. That's not how it works. Vigilantes I mean, are more often than not 
Uh, yeah. Vigilantes are more often than not the antithesis of cops, because, you know, cops are for the authority and vigilantes are normally outside of it. So, what the hell? It's... Oh, yeah, see, guys, we're a family. Uh, it's true because I say it is. Yeah, again, it's like I said before, Jova, because, remember, right after this episode, we leave all these people behind. So, again, because of the constant jumping around between places and Ca cast to characters it's impossible to get attached to anything in this game because you don't get to spend much time with anybody like yes i'm sure you guys have formed a nice relationship and bond that would be nice if we got to see how that occurred and yes i know they'll say well hey we met cassidy and finn before yeah okay those two sure but what about the rest of his supposed family in that regard mm -hmm. And I wouldn't even call that one scene they had with Cassidy and Finn, like, the most depthful of... No. Th that's the thing. Cass is just a typical, you know... Uh, what's the right term? She's just girl, really. I can't really just name anything interesting about her. So Finn. Finn is hipster. musician. Finn is hipster dude. That's it. That's all there is to him. He's a hipster dude. Okay. Okay, like, to give something credit, it feels like they are definitely trying to ship Sean Moore with Cassidy going off of the side yeah. of how they definitely flesh her out more, whereas Vince just along for the ride, essentially. It's kind of like how in Life is Strange 1, they clearly wanted you to go for the Chloe ship. And you know what? Look, if a writer has a preference, that's sure, but don't make that preference so obvious to the point where it's pretty much given and Oh, okay, I'm gonna talk about this. Signs. Now we get to either stay and get a haircut, or go to bed with Daniel. We, in order to pursue the Finn shipping path, we need to stay and get a haircut, because this is where we're gonna have that talk about... So, Sean, are you into boys or into girls? And let me guess, as a result, he'll have a, a different haircut for the rest of the plot. For the rest of the episode, actually. Oh, but his hair will grow yeah. back to being whatever um, the next episode, I, can I guess. In the next episode, he'll be bald. Let's do something about that shaggy. Uh, is he bald regardless of what happens? Regardless of what happens, because of what happens at the end of the episode, yes. Trust me, Jova, his hair doesn't uh, never, never really gets consistent. Not really. That's what I like. So where's he gonna get a haircut? So I'm guessing if you don't go with this scene, then you'll default to falling in love with Cassidy. Like yes. I don't well, you can choose to that not. Is... Well, you can choose not to pursue either if that's what you want. Oh no no no! I get that. This but, game tells but... you that getting a haircut gets you a boyfriend. Yes. And not getting a haircut apparently is closer to getting you a girlfriend. Well, okay, okay. To be fair, Shiro, it's because it's him. It's him that does it. So this is considered a bonding moment between the two of them. So I guess, so it does make sense. To be fair, go on, Drips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm enough. just I'm just making a joke. Go on, Drips. Oh, uh, I know, I know, I, I know, I know. I can only speak from a heterosexual yeah, point of view, but I wish it were that simple Stand for me. <laughs> 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 dwebs, 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 to quote Mary and Max, love yourself first. Oh god, it looks like shit! <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I am by no means a specialist on hair stylization. I personally think his air, his air, air, air cut that he's about to get his looks just looks silly on him, but that's just me. Let's see. I do nothing um, with my hair. If it were, if it, if it were, uh, same, same for me. Uh, if if it works for him, if it works for him, cool. But I personally don't care for it. What's the verdict? I just do what I can to keep my hair nice, round, and even. Nice. Okay. Can I see now? No. So what do you think? Oh God, that. Oh type my goodness. Hair <laughs> um, that's, no, wait, 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 wait. 2013 Dante, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Okay, like, there's nothing wrong with that hairstyle, it just doesn't suit him. No, it does not. No, it In my does opinion. Not. <laughs> I'm not, I've never even really been a fan of the mohawk style, but at least for some people I can say it works. Stan, no. I don't know. 
Maybe. Oh, but let me guess. Now that he hit, well, no. Okay, I won't go down that route. Although again, a person might. Sorry, go on. Although again, a lesser person might suggest that. Oh, now that he has the hairdo, of course he'd be gay. So. Okay, so yeah. Now he's asking, how long have you been together, Anna and Finn? However, as they're about to correct him. Where did he even what? get the inkling that they were a couple? <laughs> because they have sex together sometimes. Wait, so I guess Finn is bisexual? Yeah, uh, yes, Finn is bisexual. So, friends with oh. benefits. He says that he doesn't look at genders, he just looks at people. Oh. Oh. So yeah, legit friends with benefits. Oh! There you go, you fuck, you, know, you, fuck who you wanna fuck the end, basically. Isn't that, isn't that pansexual? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, that, so, would make him, that would make him pansexual. Right, right, sorry about that. I've, no, always wondered, I've always wondered, what is the main difference between bisexual like and pansexual? Um, the, uh, like, mm -hmm. it's more, it's you. usually a uh, person first, 100% before any sexual, like, I'm guessing it's, feelings. I'm guessing it means it. Oh, I get I, it. I, so the idea of pansexual is just like, hey, I'll screw whatever. I'm guessing it's That's someone who doesn't see genders, since, like, he said that what, just now. Someone who doesn't see genders, basically. Nobody's telling it's, uh, also, it's not so much like you'll fuck whoever. It's more like you, you know, it's like you have to completely vibe with the person before you want to well, do that because uh, you know, obviously. when it comes to relationships, oh, like hold on. sexual attraction. <laughs> you know what it just asked you? So, Sean, are you bi or horny? He just asked. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Wait, hold on, hold that's on. that's wait. pretty phobic, actually. Wait, 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 hold on. If he's pansexual, why is he asking there you for go. Now I can choose. Or... More into girls, some boys are cute, not into dating, or how many girlfriends. So, I'm more into- I feel like the writing's inconsistent, Jova. I don't know. Wait, 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 Shiroi. Wait, Shiroi, you mean to tell me the writing that literally had Daniel change his argument- You know what? Sean being too overprotective to Sean not wanting him around might be inconsistent. You know, you, uh, allow me, Jova. I am. Yes. Uh, 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 allow, uh, might as well throw, might as well bring back an, um, one from our OG thirteen run. Sure, sure. Are you trying to imply that this game is badly written? Good night, everybody. Thanks for the haircut. I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Okay, so sure, as someone of the LGBT community, how would you say that this dialogue? Regarding sexuality is, um, handled. Look, I'm not even LGBT, and even I call bullcrap on that. Are you bi or horny? Uh, uh, that, oh, that, that, what, uh, what does that even mean? Like, who asked that? A uh, Finn. And like, okay. dude, for, and dude, for all you know, maybe he's just straight or whatnot. Like, I'm sorry, who talks like this? Well, Nobody! You know, people <laughs> who want to be looked at strangely. Go on, Shuri. Like, I guess because they're like in a community and they're just away from everyone it's like people aren't necessarily in relationships in this group it is just like you know if they need to do it they just do it i guess like they're consenting they can do what they want mm -hmm. they're adults like but the whole like are you bi or are you greedy thing that's just so weird because like calling bi and pan people greedy is yeah. like that's a common Phobic thing to say. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. I'm just so confused by that whole scene. It was actually baffling. Like, and I don't even get like why default to just oh, are you bi or pan? Like, what's wrong with being straight or gay in this regard? Is it because they all assume hey, because we all screw around, everyone here should be into both genders? It's. It's a disaster. This game is a fucking disaster. Like seriously, like the I writing is like so I bad. I haven't heard of the Tim gay for the stay. Like, okay. I'm sorry again, again. For some people who are trying to be progressive, you're kind of arguably making things worse, my dudes. Ugh. Um. Also, what is the point of this song? Uh, because sponsorships. I don't know. Um. Ooh. They're riding around it's in the filler. truck while we listen to music. It's filler. It's not like I mean because it's this. So they could annoy me by not having the subtitles. Yeah. yeah. Again. Um. 
That's oh the thing, sir. the frame rate that the fans are moving in. It was so choppy looking. See, the thing is, Shiroi, I'm... Oh, it's a fan. See, Shiroi, unlike, mo uh, see, Shiroi uh, unlike most doggos in video games where they're there to be, uh, like, either companions in general or just attack doggos for, you know, gameplay mechanics and shit like that, aside from also having that, Torgo is an actual proper character uh, in the game that even has a side quest dedicated to him about stuff that he's been doing uh, while Clive wasn't looking and shit like that. Um, Togo is best doggo, best gaming doggo. Oh my god. So we're literally <laughs> just having a montage with this music video, essentially. Well, at least they're not making me pick wheat for 10 more minutes, so I guess kudos for small favors. <laughs> So what's up with not Gus here? Not Gus? I don't. Breaking Bad. Oh right, right, right. You mean you mean Joe? Uh, is it Joe that you're talking no, about? No, no, Meryl. Oh, Meryl. Uh, that's the thing, Jova. Don't worry. He's not important. Um, he's just here to serve as our villain for for so we can try to do something for him because he screwed us over. And after that, the episode ends and we never hear about him ever again. So don't worry. Pedro, Pedro. He's not important. Yet he's the antagonist. Okay. By law, shouldn't he be important to important. some degree? <laughs> yes, Jova, but uh, these writers clearly didn't get that memo. Now you're gonna blow your what planet do these writers live on? Clearly not the same I do. Well, ain't we all stingy now? Stingy? Remember, remember, hey, Jova, remember that bit? from Beyond Two Souls, where if you choose something, if when you you have to write something on the thing uh, while you're asking for money in the homeless chapter, and uh, if you if you ask Jody write something witty, she writes something that make just free words that go don't go together and make no sense. I'm starting to. I thought you were gonna say she says something. Actually, says something witty. I'm I'm starting to think French people live in a different world, like. Or at the very least, when their stuff doesn't get translated well to English, because I mean, I I, 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 I I'd sooner chalk it up to this is how they wanted stuff to go, seeing as how we have not heard any outcry from them on how supposedly translations have missed the message. Oh no no no! In fact, if anything, they seem proud of it. Remember, this game, these games were made for, for an English-speaking audience first. Much like David Cage's games, like David Cage's French ass, but you can tell he wants to cr to target American audiences. So basically, this is payday. Um, okay, pay attention to this scene because there's going to be a bit one contrivance that is a bit easy to miss. Ben, Cassidy, Sean, if I and, uh, yes, Glimps, but uh, please stop putting it in the game. Jake. <laughs> I was joking. Well, Deb, stop joking because Again. you see, you see, Deb, that's the problem. What you consider? Okay, hold on. Dude, do you have Wait. To do this every week? Why? Why can't he go what in? Do do? Why can't he go? Uh, yeah, now, now it's Sean who's being stupid. Why can't he go in? He works in that place. He's been in that place before. There, that's where both of them work. Why can't he go there? Daniel knows oh, so what is, uh, Daniel knows exactly what's going to happen in there. They're going to receive their money. So there's literally no reason for Sean to not want him there. And you're probably wondering, why is this even a thing? Because the game needs, once again, to force a plot point on us, as you're about to see later. Go on. Also, like, what do you mean Let's keep a low profile? The guy already out. knows about Daniel, so Jacob, right? what problem would it be with Daniel coming in? Day. Uh, I don't know, Jova. Uh, that's the thing, Dres. Remember, you, you're best. You're better off, Dres, not throwing jokes because these writers will think you're serious when you throw those jokes. <laughs> don't be too predictable. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Kojima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, that, that, that's Kojima. That, 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 that's Kojima's fake. I didn't mean to put it the future, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah. look, you got I'm nice trims. I guess that means you did great on the quick time events. That's why you keep coming back. Yes. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? Not that it matters, Jova, because as you're a, <gasps> uh, not, a raise. That's, the, that's, that's the thing, Jova. And like Dweb just put it, we're going to get fired anyway, so it doesn't matter how good you do at that minigame. There you go. So Daniel wandered into uh, Meryl's room, uh, and Joe caught him. And this is what triggers Meryl to fire both of them. 
So there you go. The reason they had a contrived nonsensical moment of Sean not wanting in here was so that Daniel could wander into Mero's room to cause this drama that gets us both fired. Oh my god. The writing in this game is so bad. Like seriously, if you if you want Mero to fire them, you could have come up with any kind of other better exp better justifications for it. Like come on, this is so lazy in its writing. Your brother needs a lesson. Does he? Eh. You all need a lesson. Yeah, and now guess what? Now he blames all of them. No payday. Oh, I hate that. No way. Remember, Shiroi, anyone who is an authority figure is a bad person. That's how things work. You and your brother are According to this game, I'm a bad person because I I uh, I am a boss who you know gives employees commands, as if that because as we all know in businesses employees should just be allowed to do whatever the fuck they want with nobody supervising them. That's totally how that's totally not a recipe for chaos or anything. Oh my god, the potty mouths on these people. Don't get me wrong, I understand that authorities can be bad. Of course they can. I'm not okay. trying to say otherwise. The problem with this game is that this game paints every single authority figure as a terrible thing. And it's just, no, I'm sorry, don't generalize. Wait, 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 hold on. You already fired them, why do you have to do more? Because Jova, cruelty. Cruelty uh, equals drama, and that's all these writers know how to do. Just force drama. <laughs> like, and there you go. Oh boy. And now he thinks one of us threw it. Exa he? Exactly. Okay, who did that? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Daniel, uh, Daniel, you're causing more trouble the more you do anything. Yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I know, right? Oh, I know, right, Gibbs? Go on. Okay, 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 okay. Let's be fair to Daniel. The guy was about to beat up and abuse him, like... Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking I... about that. That bit where he threw the thing to Joe, that's fine. Him wandering into Meryl's room for no reason, uh, yeah, that's the problem. No, that's the problem. That, okay. There you go. So, basically, they show off the powers to them, now that they all saw it, so, of course, you know, the secret's out. Not really much of a secret the more the game goes on, really. Not really, no. Well, I guess to be fair, like the general public doesn't know. True. Oh, that's mental. Exactly. I knew and guess what, guys? This is where problems start arising uh, involving Finn's oh. attitude, and I will talk about that later. Anyway, I mean, you know, so they've been fired, but couldn't they arguably still stay with the others? And I assume that they'd be nice enough to at least give them some of the money so that they can move on? Uh, potentially, but uh, the writers didn't think of that, apparently. Yeah. Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. Will we ever find out why Daniel has these? Well, okay, to be fair, I don't think we ever found out why Max had her powers either. Be random. No, no, we never. Uh, it's, the, 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 it's, it's magic. I have to explain. Look, okay, okay. To be fair, to be fair, the concept of this franchise is like, uh, what if someone had special powers? So it's kind of like the whole, you know, reason why we'd never find out why the toys are alive in Toy Story. The whole concept of Toy Story is what if toys were alive? So just, just, just suspend this belief for that part, for the sake of the story, basically. Question: Does True Colors also take place in Seattle? Because if no. I recall correct, the Arcadia Bay was in Seattle as well. No, uh, True Colors takes place in a fictional city, an American city, but fictional nonetheless. How long can you keep this a secret? Well, I mean, that was Arcadia Bay. My point. Okay, what I'm talking. Well, yeah, about true. That is true. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it in Washington State, like you know, uh, you know, like where Life is Strange One is and where Life is Strange Two starts? It's a mount. It's a, a remote mountain town. I don't know where so exactly. Could, so that could be in Washington. I do not know. That it doesn't matter if you ask me. <laughs> well, I I'll admit, I was kind of wondering if maybe the idea is that there's a certain phenomenon that went on in the state of Washington oh, that. that it's giving people um, this if that is the case, the game clearly doesn't make that clear. Fair enough. Not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Well, you know what? These guys seem cool. Like, they're not even blaming us for, you know, their pay getting lost. I don't know. Um, these guys are not necessarily bad people. Uh, although Finn is starting to... Is going to start having some 
bad thoughts. Uh, listen to this. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen. Yeah, yeah. He promises he won't tell anybody, but He's I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about what he says after Thanks, this. Man. For real. Right now, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, right now. Hold up. Eh? Uh. You know, there's a lot of money around here. No! Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl said. Yeah, I'm with Cassidy on this yeah, one. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, like, I'm with her. And guess what, Shiroi? If to pursue the LGBT ship, you have to go along with his plan. Gonna get the okay, um. You know, uh, I'm sorry. It's totally a max all over again. Me? Yep. It, re it really is. Don't pull a kid into your stupid uh, uh, You know what? You know what? I'm, I wonder if I was on the money when I said that the game prefers you ship. Sean well, Cassidy be because so no, Cassidy is the one morally right oh, here. Like Sean and Daniel they're not actually going to suggest that Finn it. is in and the right, is he? No, 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 no. To be fair, yeah, as as right now we're seeing with Cass, yes, they they do call out Finn for his bad plan, and like you said, you can choose to turn down his plan, and that way, uh, however. Let's just say the game still wants to go a specific direction, even if you do refuse. But again, the thing is, in order to go with the gay relationship, you gotta show that you're truly in it to win it, sweetheart. Good God. Deal. Like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap. In fact, there's actually an article about talking about this part in this game. I will bring it up in a moment. I mean, it's the mentality that, oh, to show that you're truly committed to same-sex relationship, you gotta be willing to go all the way on even the worst decisions in these games. I just see, I just see a badly written relationship. That it, yeah. Regardless of, of its nature. I say jump, you say how high. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the only reason I point it out is what? that it seems to happen with the you? gay relationship. Yeah, it's that like, is a problem, yeah. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay, but yeah, look. For as much as it sucks okay. that Daniel went into the guy's room... I I again, my you dude, know. bit of an overreaction. You know like, it's not like the kid was trained you know, to rob you. Now, granted, I the, get that he's paranoid, but... I know. Again! What Daniel, okay. I know that we've said him being just a kid isn't an excuse, but yeah. to the guy's credit, the kid is nine. He might not exactly get all the ordeals of the drug business. Like, he'll get some things at this point, but I'm willing to excuse him not getting all the complexities of running a drug empire, so... I feel like we could give the kid just a little bit of slack. And like you said, just frisk him if you really want to see if he took something. Yeah, basically. Just, no, you're all fired for what this little kid who um, we just left outside on his own did. Uh, before we go, Shiroi, guess what? Unlike with mm -hmm. the first game, someone actually made an article about this problem. Allow me to quickly skim it. Uh, they say, oh, if you pick Cassidy, Sean can start off by skinny to being with her and played right, and you can fall into her tent, blah, 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 for some further loving, blah, blah, blah. At the other disconnection is desire to do right, Sean and Cassidy agree that a robbery planned by Finn is a bad idea. When it comes to romancing Finn, all you'll be able to accomplish is a single kiss instead of sex, like with Cassidy, and the only way that can be earned is by agreeing to take part in his heist. Even if you've spent the rest of the episode speaking with him, sketching him, and building up the true bond, you'll be locked in the friend zone if you tell him the robbery is a bad idea. In short, being virtuous and straight will still lead to... Uh, the sex portrayal down a dark path need, nets you a single kid. So he's saying, oh, being virtuous and straight will lead to sex, but traveling down a darker path nets you a single gay kiss. And the, the writer's basically saying that doesn't sit right with him. And yeah, I can kind I can see it as well. Wait, so what yeah, do you think? Hold on. Yeah, they've done wait, this wait, twice. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You actually get to have sex when you're straight, but when you're gay, all you get is the kiss? Yes. Cowards. Oh, I mean, look. I'm straight myself, but like with Fire Emblem Three Houses, which glorifies female same sex, but gives male same look, sex absolute crumbs. Look, look. I'm like, come on, dudes. Look, my be equal on this stuff. Look, I'm gonna mention my take on this through pornographic terms because that's just how my brain works. Sorry. Like, look, <laughs> look. Look, look, I'm not into male gay porn. That being said, let people have their male gay porn if they want it. 
Like, come on, guys. No, that's not harming anybody. You have plenty. If you want different kind of porn, click in, the, in this in the straight tab or the lesbian tab. It's right there. Like, come on. It's this is this isn't a fucking rocket science. Just don't pick the male gay porn category. It's there for those who like I mean, it. <laughs> you know. I mean, look. I'm straight, and I definitely, you know, if I had to pick one, I definitely prefer girl on girl over guy. Oh, sure, I, lo I love doesn't lesbian porn. Uh, however, it doesn't mean I don't think that guy on guy deserves its say and showing here and there. Let people have what they want, so long as it's not pedophilia. Sure. Or incest. Sure. All right, everybody, tune in next time where we finish episode three. Goodie. See ya.